Hey, what's up, Al? A uh, quick demo video for you for your spare parts Cypher Dias. Um, as you know, I got this done on my live stream last night, and I was waiting for a pair of 21700 batteries to come in the mail, and they came today. So this is install the Profi. It's got the provided chassis that you gave me. Um, one button set up, so your one switch is right here. It is on a magnet, so you just want to take it, pull it right off. Just like that right it comes off you'll see the little magnet there on the switch um, we want to come over here unscrew the pommel as you know this pommel can be a huge pain to get off um, these fins don't come off so you got to kind of work it out like that what I ended up doing was I uh, modeled you this tool all right so hopefully you can see that there it's a quite it's a simple thing uh, but it works out really well <clears throat> so you just take it put it on here and we'll just untwist the pommel all right, and then you can twist it off just like that, but I don't want to drop it, so. Until it falls off just like that. So I modeled this uh, to not go over the entire pommel on purpose, right? I didn't want it to slide over that part and then eventually wear out the finish on just this part. So it just, it clips onto here and with a little bit of pressure applied, you can go back and forth um, and that's what it does. All right, so come over here and take the Covertech wheel. You want to unscrew it because that is your chassis retention. And then we could push your chassis out the back and all the way up. All right, and this is what you've got. So you've got your dual 21700s running right here. Um, as requested, we ran these in parallel. So the kill switch either turns them both on or it turns them both off. Uh, one thing about this, how this is wired as well is you can run this entire saber off just one of these batteries if you wanted to. All right, it doesn't have to have both of them in there. So you've got your profi board right here, um, easy access to your SD card, micro USB, although you'll probably never be touching that. Um, CC sabers in here for your lit PCB connector. See it right there. And then, uh, of course, your kill switch. Now on your chassis, if you can see that, um, you've got a zero right there for off. And then over here, you've got a one for on. So I made sure that that uh, kill switch corresponded, right? So, and then this is your one switch right here with the magnet on it. You can press it from right here, but we'll come over here and we'll flip the kill switch. As you requested, a very simple sound font, uh, one singular sound font, no music, nothing like that. Um, and we'll slide the chassis in. Slide the chassis all the way in, come over here and lock it down. We can come over here and put your pummel on. You might want to just get it started like, it's easiest just to do it like this. Get it started just like a thread, a half a thread, something for it to lock onto, just like that. And then we'll come over here and we'll just screw it all the way down. A couple turns, no biggie. Screw it all the way down, and then the last thing you want to do is take your switch and throw it in the switch hole right there. So now we can turn this on. LEDs are lighting up. Nice smooth swing. Tap it for blaster bolt defects. Good flash on flash. No twist off or any motion controls like that. You do have to hold the button down to turn it off. Just like that. We'll throw a blade in. Um, as you know, when you're putting this blade in, you have to take this emitter and unscrew it just a hair. And I need to find which. There it is. This fin right here. When you unscrew this emitter, your blade retention pops out right there. And that's how you get to that. All right. So we'll take a blade, put it in. It takes a one inch diameter nail pixel blade. Lock it down. Once we lock it down, we can take the emitter and screw it back on with the blade. And so again, nice blue blade. Lock the bolts. Now to get blade locked up, you do want to hold the button down and hit the safe. Right there. 
and it moves up and down the saber depending on how you move it. And it will stop when you let go of the button. Just like that, right? And this is a very loud saber. It's got good sound resonance. It sounds nice and bassy. like that. All right, and we'll go ahead and we'll take the blade back out of this guy. Let me find the blade retention. I always forget which pair of claws it pops out of. You don't have to turn the emitter by a quarter turn and the, uh, the blade retention screw pops right out at you. All right, take the blade out. Go ahead and twist this back tight and then we'll do that all over again. So again, We'll come over here and take our button out. We'll come over here and take our pummel off. I should screw right off on you. Try to hold it like this so it doesn't drop when it all gets unthreaded. Throw it in your hand just like that. Unscrew your Covertech. Pop your chassis out. And of course you could leave the batteries in or you could come over here and flip the kill switch. So I'll turn it on from here so that you can see when I flip this uh, kill switch right here, it kills everything just like that. All right. And that is basically your spare parts, Sifo-Dyas. Um, let me know if you got any questions. If not, I will get this out in the mail to you by tomorrow. All right. Thank you.